Formula One's feeder series has produced champions who've gone on to great F1 success. And some who didn't quite fulfil their promise at the top level. Let's travel back through time, starting with 2020 F2 champion Mick Schumacher. He graduates to F1 with Haas in 2021, where he'll be partnered with fellow rookie Nikita Mazepan. 2019 F2 champion Nick de Vries. He didn't graduate to F1, but switched to Formula E with Mercedes, where he's now an established frontrunner. 2018 F2 champion George Russell. He graduated to F1 with Williams, where he's outqualified his teammate in every race weekend so far, and played a starring cameo for Mercedes in 2020 Sakir Grand Prix, subbing for Lewis Hamilton. 2017 F2 champion Charles Leclerc. He graduated to F1 with Sauber, before getting his big break with Ferrari. He scored his first F1 win at Spa in 2019. 2016 GP2 champion Pierre Gasly. He graduated to F1 with Toro Rosso. While he didn't make the most of his Red Bull drive in 2019, which led to his demotion, Gasly scored his first F1 win at Monza for Alpha Tauri in 2020. 2015 GP2 champion Stoffel Van Dorn. He graduated to F1 with McLaren scoring a point when he subbed for Fernando Alonso in Bahrain in 2016. He replaced Jensen Button from 2017, but after a poor 2018, he switched to Formula E with Mercedes, where he's now a race winner and a title contender. 2014 GP2 champion Julian Palmer. He belatedly graduated to F1 with Renault in 2016 after a year as reserve driver. He raced for two seasons before losing his seat to Carlos Sainz and went on to have a successful F1 commentary career. 2013 GP2 champion Fabio Lima. A Friday run with Mana Marussia in Hungary was as close as he got to F1. He raced for Rebellion in the WEC and briefly for Virgin in Formula E. He since raced in the Ferrari Challenge, winning the 2017 World Final. 2012 GP2 champion David Valsecchi. A Friday run with Team Lotus in Malaysia was as close as he got to F1. This was despite a reserve driver role that followed with the other Lotus team. But he was overlooked to replace an injured Kimi Raikkonen at the end of 2013 in favour of Heike Kovalainen. He went on to become a renowned F1 and F2 TV commentator and pundit. 2011 GP2 champion Romain Grosjean. He returned to F1, having previously raced for Renault in 2010 with Lotus. He scored 10 podiums with the team, including second place finishes in Canada and the USA. He moved to Haas F1 in 2016, where he raced for five seasons, until his F1 career ended after a fiery crash in Bahrain. 2010 GP2 champion Pastor Maldonado. He graduated to F1 with Williams, winning the 2012 Spanish Grand Prix. He moved on to Lotus, but his reputation as a crasher followed him, and he lost his drive at the end of 2015. He went on to race in sports cars. 2009 GP2 champion Nico Hülkenberg. He graduated to F1 with Williams, setting pole position at Interlagos. He moved on to Force India, Sauber, Renault and Racing Point, but somehow fell short of scoring a podium finish despite 521 points from 179 starts. 2008 GP2 champion Giorgio Pantano. He didn't return to F1, having previously raced for Jordan in 2004, but transferred instead to the football club-based Super League formula and raced sporadically in the IndyCar series. 2007 GP2 champion Timo Glock. He graduated to F1 with Toyota, 
finishing fourth on two occasions in 2008 and famously playing a role in Lewis Hamilton's title victory on the final lap at Interlagos. He scored two podium finishes in 2009, but lost his drive and was forced to see out his F1 career as a backmarker with the Virgin Marussia team. 2006 GP2 champion Lewis Hamilton. He graduated to F1 with McLaren, scoring his maiden Grand Prix victory in Canada in only his sixth start. He won the 2008 World Championship for McLaren, then moved to Mercedes for 2013, where he won six more titles by 2020, equaling Michael Schumacher's tally and breaking his wins record. 2005 GP2 champion Nico Rosberg. He graduated to F1 with Williams, setting fastest lap on his debut. He moved to Mercedes in 2010 and went on to become 2016 world champion. He announced his retirement from racing just five days later, ending a career that featured 23 F1 race wins.